the greatest danger in the church now is not error the greatest danger is imbalance and this imbalance has come from this third point this is where i want to build my case tonight so pay attention so that you find out whether you are part of it and trust god to help you tonight everybody shout imbalance there is something about the limitation of Pentecostals that our Orthodox brothers and sisters capitalize on and use it as the basis why you should not be open to the things of the Holy Spirit. Then there are things that the Pentecostals use as their excuse for thinking an Orthodox lifestyle is too mean and basic and all of that. And all of them may have some sense of justification but the truth is that there is an inner anger for one another just waiting for a legitimate excuse are we together now yeah whether it is an issue of marriage or finances or fidelity or issues that have to do with um, administration and leadership whatever it is how you know that correction is not coming from a sincere point is the exaggeration exaggeration I always say you use a, a hammer to kill a fly. A simple tap on that fly, it would die. But when you use hammer, you were angry. It's not about the fly. The fly just happens to be what the hammer is hitting. Obviously, that hammer was not designed for the fly. It's just that the fly got in the way of the hammer. And boy, will that hammer hit the fly. There is a spirit of pride. Listen carefully it looks like it's coming from god but i'm exposing lucifer there is something satan is doing in the especially among we men of god that god has privileged to have access to revelation and anointing and a dimension of the miraculous pride is gradually eating us up because we believe that because of the little results we have we have authority by ourselves to correct everybody and everything every man of god is trying to show what another man is doing wrong everyone is trying to show that this is wrong why are you praying like this the other one will say you too why are you keeping quiet when you are praying the other one will say what is the meaning of warfare the other one will say keep waiting demons are coming see let me tell you this let me tell you this listen very carefully listen carefully if we do not trust god to rise up and correct these imbalances we are going to authorize satan to destroy us God's goal is not to produce koinonia in all the earth. If God gives me an assignment and says, Apostle, through you, the gospel will get to the ends of the earth. He was talking to all the people who will come out spiritually and prophetically through my loins. Through. There are ministries that will come out of me. They are an extension of that instruction. The idea is not to turn every believer in Nigeria into koinonia. It's a failed project from day one and anybody who knows god will never be part of that failed agenda so god is not glorified when koinonia has more members god is glorified when the kingdom advances listen very carefully because right now the entire scope of our soul winning agenda is sometimes is even sheep stealing i say this because i love the body you are sitting quietly taking fresh air someone comes to preach to you you say okay i'm already born again as soon as he's leaving you another person is coming say your brother just say it doesn't matter you just listen have you have you been given um, um are you are you aware of our church services he say yes he say come and the next time you see him look how people feel guilty and blackmailed because i invited you for koinonia you didn't come and you make it look like you are the worst sinner in the whole world you are just because you did not come that's not salvation that's pressure like banks give people target bring this by this month we have begun to propose some of those campaigns and we must be careful kingdom advancement is not the advancement of a name of a church is the advancement of the agenda of god in the hearts of men and across the spheres now it 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 is important that the individual ministries do their best to be the the platforms for people to be saved and equipped but that's not the idea there are people it's one of the reasons why pastors never invite people to their pulpit because someone comes and in two minutes before he preaches he has said almost 90 things about his church and sometimes some can even be sarcastic to downplay the church that now invited them you hear about people who go for conferences 
and before you know it while in that conference he saw a keyboard is playing well he saw a worshiper singing well and the man of god will collect their numbers travel back and now call them and begin to indoctrinate them you are, are you you sound too good your pastor doesn't deserve you come and join a moving train we say and then the member now leaves his church to join the supposed moving train and then we make it look like god is only with us it is pride let me repeat the idea that makes you believe you are the only representation of god in a territory is pride the day koinonia believes that we are the only and even the ultimate representation of god in this region is a sign that error has already eaten beginning from me to everyone may god forbid it